So this is a video that's going to show what is possible with clickers. By the way, the reason today is going to rock is because check out how my tie matches the monitor. It's pretty cool, right? Get your clickers ready, but here's the first slide. Did some of you see this headline? So she's thrown in jail for sending her child to a white school district. Just says, no way, man. Send your black kid back to the black school district. So answer that question. So here, go to the next slide. So that's the, this is the headline that I pulled off of this blog called Anti-Cryptos. So here's one from Ohio.com. The case of Kelly Williams Bolar. Akron mom jailed for sending kids to suburban school. Stirs emotion. Oh wait, hang on. It's not a white school district now. It's a suburban school. So that's a little toned down a little bit. The first one, that's pretty hardcore. You know, so it's not surprising that two thirds of you all would say, yeah, that's racist. Because, you know, of course, well, what else could it be? Wait, it's a suburban school. Okay, Santina, go to the next one. Only in America, breaking the law to get kids in a better school. That's from a website called the GRIA. Okay, whoa, hang on. A better school. So it's not about a white school. It's not about a suburban school. It's a better school. Like, okay, so hang on. That's not like, now we're not really playing the race card here in a certain sense. Okay, go to the next one. Kelly Williams Bolar sent to jail for sending kids to the wrong school district. Now you all know it's, it's against the law to send your kids to the wrong school district, right? Just like and some of you have parents who are doing this. It's against the law to lie on your financial aid or your Penn State information to claim, for example, that you have in-state residency when you don't. So it's against the law. And when you lie on financial aid, that's federal law. And some of those are felonies. It's pretty serious. So when you send your child to a, the wrong school district outside of a location in which you have your residence, that is a, that's a crime. And it's pretty clear, it's a crime all across the United States. So it's not about sending your kids to a white school district, a suburban school, a better school. It's about sending them to the wrong one outside of where you live. So now answer the question again. Was she the victim of racism? So watch how everybody shifts from thinking that it is racism to it's not racism. And of course, nobody knows, right? They don't have the whole story. I mean, this could have been the woman's fourth offense. But the point is, they go from being all the way over here to all the way over here. Now, see? Now you flip the opposite direction. It's like we have to go back or forth. No, stay in the middle. Stay right in the middle because you don't know. It's just like they game. You know, we tell stories back and forth with one another. But we don't know the full story. Like, you have no idea. What's interesting to me about this example is that I saw in the moment, as a result of the use of clickers, that my students had gone from being too far in this direction to being way off the scale in this other direction. And had I been sort of relying on a show of hands or just my own imagination, I never would have known that. And so clickers just give you that, that very quick and, and immediate response to where students are at. And I saw that clearly I, was not, I did not give them what they needed and to, to you know, kind of bring them back in the center. And, and this conversation comes after a, a day in which I talked about free will and determinism and the need to stay right in the center. That, you know, it's always about people's free will and, and there are always factors and forces outside of people's control that come into play in all of our actions. And so this is really a, just sort of a kind of a final test of that. And uh, man, you know, again, without, without the clickers, I never could have known, so it's just it's a very cool example in my mind.